add a fraction less than 1 to or subtract a fraction less than 1 from a whole number using decomposition and visual models. Here we have 2 plus 2 thirds. How would we model this? Well, let's draw some tape diagrams here, where it is that each of these bars represents a hole. So that we have two holes, and let's separate each of those holes, one hole here and another hole here, into thirds. And so, we need to add two more thirds to those two holes. There's one more third, and there's another third, and we'll label that portion as well. So here we have two with two thirds equaling two and two thirds. Two plus those two thirds gives us a sum that is a mixed number. Say the number sentence that adds the whole number to the fraction. 2 plus 2 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds. Here we have 3 minus 1 fifth. Let's go ahead and draw the three holes first. There's 1, 2, and 3. Let's label it. There's our 3. And then if we're going to subtract 1 fifth, well, we don't have to draw fifths on every single one of these. We just have to draw fifths here on our one here, where we will go ahead and subtract one of those. So again, we drew a tape diagram representing three holes. And then, we partitioned one here into five parts to get fifths. How will we indicate that we are subtracting one-fifth? Right, we would cross it out. So then we're left with one, two holes, one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths. So three minus one-fifth is equal to two and four-fifths. Notice here that the number of 1's gets smaller when we subtract from it. Here we have 7 minus 3 fourths. We can decompose 7 and break apart 7 into the whole numbers 1 and what else? Right, 6. So 6 and 1 more gives us 7. And then we can subtract 3 fourths from that. We had worked earlier with subtracting from wholes. So we had 1, which we can rewrite as 4 fourths minus 3 fourths. And do not forget to add back in the 6. So we have 6 plus 4 fourths minus 3 fourths, and 4 fourths minus 3 fourths is 1 fourth. So we have 6 plus 1 fourth, which we saw earlier, is the mixed number what? 6 and 1 fourth. So 7 minus 3 fourths is 6 and 1 fourth. Yes, I could also count down from 7, count 3 fourths down from 7. We think about a number line counting 3 fourths down from 7 with our model. That would have been 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths to be able to get to 6 and 1 fourths. So we have more than one way to figure out the answer. You try. Be sure to decompose 9 into 8, as well as some fifths. 
pause the video while you do your work. Right, it could be decomposed into 8 and also with 5 fifths. So we have 8 plus 5 fifths minus 3 fifths, which equals 8 plus 5 fifths minus 3 fifths, which is 2 fifths, which is 8 and 2 fifths. Can you draw a number line showing this as well? Just draw in between the whole numbers 8 and 9. Well, we started at 9, and we went back 3 fifths, so we better divide our number line into fifths. 1, 2, and 3. Meaning we subtracted 3 fifths to be able to get to 8 and 2 fifths. So this is how we can subtract fractions from whole numbers. Here's one last problem, 9 minus 7 twelfths. We will rewrite 9 as 8 plus 1, and we're still subtracting 7 twelfths. Which will we rename to twelfths, 8 or 1? Right, we rename the 1 to twelfths. How many twelfths? 12 and we're still subtracting 7 twelfths. What do we do first? What I'm circling is what we do first. We've got twelfths there, and 12 minus 7 is 5. So we have 8 adding together with 5 twelfths, which is 8 and 5 twelfths. 8 and 5 twelfths is in simplest form. How would we check that? Right, the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So instead of 9 minus 7 twelfths equaling 8 and 5 twelfths, I would add 8 and 5 twelfths with the 7 twelfths to be able to hopefully get 9. Let's run a check using addition there. That would be 8 plus 5 twelfths and 7 twelfths is 12 twelfths. So we have 8 plus 12 twelfths. I know that 12 twelfths is equal to 1. So 8 plus 12 twelfths does equal 9. Yes, this problem does check.